The locals are torching your flag. You know, we should film them. When they burn something interesting, I will hit record. Like the new president? Amarev? Amarev. The question is, will he last? Well, he made it through the first three. The people love him and he won the election fair and square. Our reluctant news that Kirillov has another plan for Hammer. I do speak. Here to collect Commander Sandman? Thank you, sir. Thank you. So, nobody's going to the airport to pick up your new ambassador? New second in command, deputy ambassador, and we're changing shirts for him. Mm-hmm. That's not who they're flying in today. I've heard it's the new military attaché. Military attaché? Interesting. You know, word on the street is the military attaché. I'm off. I'm off knows that he has a serious insurgency problem on his hands. He also knows that his army simply isn't up to handling it. Yeah, no shit. Which is exactly why Norton requested this guy. He's the kind of guy you definitely want for a team if you're expecting something. Let's face it, the US are taking this insurgency problem very seriously. So who is he? His name is Keenan. Commander Samuel Keenan. Navy SEAL. He's the toughest guy I've ever met. You're back, sir. Thank you. Sounds like you know him. Yeah, uh, Michelle and I embedded with his team in Al-Bajra. She, however, got to know him a little better than I did. Sir! Oh, not our super clean Michelle United World News and Whitman. It's the very same. Delta 4, requesting clearance to take off. Michelle told me he's coming by the hotel before he starts work. Lucky Miss Whitman. <laughs> What's your name, Corporal? Uh, Butler, sir. Do you know the Hotel Continental? Sir, my orders were to take you straight to the embassy, sir, and then onto the presidential palace. But the hotel is kind of on the way. The opposite direction. Give me an hour, okay? Yes, sir. Some ambulances. Now. Yes, sir. You. Come on. Michelle, you better come with me. You'll be safe at the embassy. I'm a reporter, Sam. Like him. You want to be next? If we don't show the world what's happening, who will? Sam, you know we're enough by now. Sir, civil guards on their way. You should not be here when you arrive. Let's go. Stay off the streets and let me find out what's going on. Don't worry, Sam. We'll be fine. Michelle, I'll come back for you. Bomb. What's 
there. It's the army barracks. This country's supposed to be stable. This is at elections. Well, someone didn't like the result. Move on. Sergeant Parnell, Commander Sam Keenan. Gunnery Sergeant. Gun will do just fine, sir. Nice town, huh? Sleepy. It has its moments. Good to meet you, sir. Commander Keenan. I'm Jennifer Lennon. Nice to meet you. That's very nice. Ambassador Norland speaks very highly of you. George is a good man. I get the feeling this town is going to be more than I am. Sam, how are you, son? Ambassador, sorry, I got delayed. Uh, our uh, RSO, John Lydon. Read attachment commander, John Baldwin. Our new military attache, Commander Keenan. Welcome to the deep end, Commander Keenan. Here's the top sheet. Small cadre of insurgents, former military and loyal to ex-president Kirillov, are stirring up opposition to the new president. This man is their leader, Tabarov, who obviously ordered the hit on the journalist's hotel. They're hardliners, old-school communists, violently anti-U.S. But mainly street corner showboaters. Oh, no. Comrade Tabarov, it's time. Now. Look. Move in. Frank Gaines, CIA station chief. Our new uh, military attaché, Commander Keenan. They still call you BC? What do you mean? Well, you go to a hotel a half hour later, we have a body count of eight. Frank, Sam's on our side. So are those dead reporters. Now, what's your intel on the gunmen and the bombers? Well, we have one major explosion and three smaller blasts. My contacts report roving bands of militia, maybe as many as 500. They've taken out the military barracks here. And the uh, Civil Guard HQ here. They've shot up U.S. business address, too. We have unconfirmed American casualties. What about the rest of the army? President Amaranth sent General Borgoff to take out what we thought was a militia base camp. Satellite pictures show he's turned back from the mountain, so... I'd say five hours, minimum. I'll give you three to one on Amaranth swinging from the road by midnight. into anarchy and right over cut the president off from both his military and police. Amarev needs his army one quarter of the hours away in the mountains. Yes, comrade. Shoot. Yes, sir.
trei zile palatul meu deschis focul, domnule președinte. Asupra poporului meu? Cine a dat un asemenea ordin? Sunt foarte agitat. Nu au altă soluție. Oare de ce le-am permis celor puțini să vorbesc împotriva celor mulți? Sunt foarte agitat. Nu au altă soluție. Trebuie să plecați cât mai repede. Aveți pregătit un avion. Un avion. Că toate celelalte opțiuni sunt deschise. Oare de ce o cale de scăpare atât de evident dar rămâne deschisă pentru mine? Să vină capitanul observat. Domnule președinte. Arestează-mi pe șeful meu de stat major. Domnule președinte. Nu mai am nevoie de sfaturile lui. Domnule președinte. Am văzut de nouă la inglez. How many Marines do we have? How many people do we have to protect? Officially an embassy staff of 27, plus 42 other U.S. nationals in the city, mostly oil and telecom engineers. Marine embassy guard detachment of 15. 15? That's it. This was not considered a hazardous duty station. Look at Cygnus again. I know. There's prisoner Demirev. The communists are storming the presidential palace. And? He wants our help. So tell him people in hell want ice cubes. How many weapons and transport do we have? Well, well, hold on a second there, BC. I see where you're going with this. It's not gonna happen. Sir, the Secretary of State would have our asses. If we're gonna do something, we'd better to move now. Yeah, yeah, well, with all due respect. Hear him out, Gaines. Those Marines, see any action? Uh, Gunny, uh, Butler, and Zanger all uh, spent a tour in Iraq. Works for me. Get me in, or give me money. Do it. Follow me. Jam. Since they still haven't replaced my former deputy, uh, I'm appointing you to temporarily fill the slot. You're my new second in command. Let's protest this back here. It's fully really loaded, sir. Thank you. Well, up here, I should be able to go this way. Service entrance to the palace. Shit, those palace guards look like they're hands full. Make sure they keep holding. who will assist my travel? Yes, sir. Where's your driver? Follow me. Mom's coming through. The storm through the service office door. Switching to plan B. Follow me.
sympathy. Copy that. Hang back and cover our flank. We're coming in. Cover us. I'll get you. Brace us in. Welcome to the USA, Mr. President. Thank you. I am in your debt. Sir, sure. the ambassador is waiting inside. Sir? Sure. Corporal Zanga just radioed in. He and Pazini are still out there. I'll assemble a reaction team and bring them both in. Negative, Gani. The city is crawling with militia heading our direction. I need all available men right now. Zanga and Pazini are two of my best. I'm sure they are. And they're Marines. I'm counting on them out there. Yes, sir. For a tour group. There are U.S. nationals who work in the city. We bust them into their own safety. We need to get control of our defenses. Is there a map of this place? Yeah, the Marine unit is down the hall and to the left. ACR is in the basement through columns. Come with me. I'll show you the embassy plans. When evacuated, please remain in the lobby and wait for Good to the top of the street, Gunny. Enough ammo to hold off a troop of Girl Scouts. Yeah, the only anti-personnel weapon we got is bad breath. I spotted an RPG. The ambassador, the great news. Now? We do this the hard way. We don't have much time. Okay. 
Seal the windows. Right side. You too, on me! <laughs> Get him downstairs into the bubble. No! This is Marshal Geller of Comms Tech. Hey, Marshal. Sir. How's the president? Yes, sir. He's any background information, anything you know. He's good. White House Situation Room, you're on. Ready, sir. This is Sam Keenan. I regret to inform you that Ambassador Nolan has been killed in the NSC attack. Mr. Newman, Secretary of State. Our sympathies, Commander Keenan. How did this happen? The quality is in progress. I'm a in the embassy, and we've been here on RPG. John Franklin. NSA. How's your security? We're surrounded by militia loyal to Kirillov. I need backup. This is General Anderson. Our nearest Marine Expeditionary Unit is about six hours due east of your current position. You folks are just going to have to do whatever you can to hold the fort until they can arrive. Understood. And if you don't mind, sir, on the double. Copy that. Commander Keenan. We'll keep the lines open for you here at State. Pentagon and Op Center CIA. Let us know immediately if there's any change in your plans or your situation. Good luck. This is General Anderson. I'm issuing orders for the 22nd Marine Expeditionary Unit to proceed with an emergency embassy reinforcement mission. Brian, check the message. confident about our security. What we do have is an E&E plan. You heard my discussion with the Secretary of State. Case closed. Evacuation is our only option. The longer we delay, the harder it'll become. The evacuation plan was designed for a staff of 15. We have over 50 people here. And a full-on siege at site. How long do we have until General Borgov returns with his troops? About four hours. By then we'll have militia trying on our pants for size. Ambassador Nolan said he would not let this fragile democracy fail. I'm not going to let him down. They hold the fort. I hate to piss on your little parade, Keenan, but Norland's dead. Jesus, am I the only one here who thinks life would be rosier on the other side of that mob? Evac is not an option. Vietnam is history, pal. Get over it. Frank, you're not being helpful. Helpful is not sacrificing more American lives in a hopeless situation, John. This guy's been in country less than a day. What does he know? Sir, you'd better come to the TCU. Tom, um, are we?
I broke in on channel 4. How? Don't know, he won't talk to me. He just wants the man in charge. This is Sam Keenan. Over. I said I only want to speak to the man in charge. The ambassador. He was killed. I'm in charge. My name is Tamarov. I represent the Revolutionary People's Government. We demand the release of President Yuri Amirov to stand a trial for the murder of innocent civilians. Gun down. On his order. I'll start the palace. Amrev is under our protection, which is U.S. soil. If he did commit those crimes, they are proper and legal ways to proceed, not at the point of a gun. That's why it works in a democracy. We have demanded the release of President Amirov. Look outside, Mr. King. The roof. You will got a minute, John. Why did the Vietnam reference get him so riled? He was born there. His mother was part of the French diplomatic mission. His old man was some jarhead officer who bought a bullet when he pulled out of Saigon. No wonder he's not big on EPEC. No, but he's big on ego. This guy's a loose cannon. We just went from George and Norman to George of the Jungle. I'm going back channel on this. You might consider doing the same thing. If you want to save this place, everybody in it. Hostages, including one woman being held at gunpoint. Yeah, that's General Ilyanov. Other guy looks like press. And that woman. Michelle. Michelle Whitman. Of course it is. He netted one use. Yeah. Mr. Tavarov, if we're going to talk, release the hostages now. Our demands are clear. Release President Amirov into our custody. Or these people will be executed. Can I remind you of the Geneva Convention about prisoners of war? Unless I'm mistaken, we are not at war. The hostages are innocent civilians. And release our president, Pichkati Materina. It's very simple. He's not fucking around. Our position on that is clear, Mr. Favrov. Over. Answer. Make the part those thoughts about Beyonce. What are you thinking, King? We're going out there for a rescue. Kenny, what we got? We got two recon marines, two trained snipers. We can create a diversion. We can get those hostages back. You don't have anything big enough. You're right. Too many in the field. The best they can do is to draw fire. I know it hurts to agree with me, but let me finish. You don't have anything big enough. But I do. Well, the insurance policy I've been hiding by the name of Charlie Ford. 
Let's get your orgies. Tiger 1, this is Redwood 1. Come in. Tiger 1. Over. What's your location? Back to your street. Are you on mobile? There's four legs between us. Okay, gentlemen. There is a bicycle store on Fletcher Street, which is two blocks east. Okay, we'll find it. The owner is gonna ask your name. Tell him, Michael Jordan. Call us when you're inside. And guys, haul ass. That's not. Sir, a man calling himself Tavarov just killed a hostage. More hostages will be killed unless I turn you over. I need a straight answer. Please. Did you order your guards to shoot at the people at your palace? No. Let me explain something. These men are brutal. We fought against them. Ten years. Suffered their abuses for more than twenty. If I thought surrendering myself to them would stop the bloodshed, I would do it. But the opposite is true. Only by defying them can I protect my people. I'm very sorry you caught in the middle, Mr. Keenan. Whatever you decide, I will understand. Thank you. My army is coming. Here's the C4. Great, thanks. Alright. Watch your backs. You swat twice if there's a problem. If we're being followed, you're found. Whatever. Understand. Okay. Let's get this thing on the road. Copy all set. On my command. Three, two, one. Oh, yeah. 
injured. We got injured. Hey, okay? Take it easy. Take it easy. Baldwin, get the medics. Yeah. Sir. And secure the compound. Keep on holding, Mateo. Move! Suck it up. It's great to have you back barking orders, but we need intel faster than they need a bandit. You two are reporters, right? Yeah. How many troops do we bring to the palace? Uh, 50, uh, I have no idea. We were filming and then they came after us and we just ran. And the rest of the Civic Guard? How about these men arriving in trucks carrying AK 47s and they fired at them? You recognize firearms? We such as part the job. Okay, good. What other equipment did you see? Did they have tanks? No tanks. Any heavy armor? No, we just we just saw trucks. What about the leader? Tadarov. Did he try to hurt you? Did he say he planned to shoot you? No, the opposite. He said he'd be happy to release us. I want to see both of you in my office. When you're finished. Thank you. What's General Borgov's position? He's still 120 miles away. The heavy armor, I'd say, uh, three and a half hours. He's still mopping up the dead out there. Corporal Shevinson puts the casualties at 25 dead, 12 wounded. That will not stop that rough. No, he'll know help is on his way. It's just gonna speed things up. He'll hit us with everything they've got. Unless we give them what they want. Can he? Sure. I'll give them what they want, as long as they want help. Marines bolster friggin' brains. Hey, we got the hostage at bay. Do we? Kim! Your mandate here is not to turn us into the Alamo. Go ahead, move. Sure. But everybody died. We got Texas. Sir, we've got movement. Of dead Washington. See if they can give us something else. Come on, move. I have to read this handbook. Lock. Washington, do you copy over? This is General Anderson. Copy that. Yeah, pass me through to the uh, Secretary of State. This is Secretary Hammond. What is your current situation? Over. Sir, militia forces destroyed our communication Sir, uh, center. Secretary, this is Frank Gaines, CIA. We are outnumbered by over 20 to 1 at the moment. We have no cover on three sides, and militia may have seized government tanks and heavy weapons. Yeah, but, sir, with relief forces still hours away, and General Borgov's army out of contact, I strongly urge that we reconsider the plan to evacuate and take advantage of imminent night cover. That's an opinion which I cannot support, sir. Would you stand by for a moment, Commander Keenan? Sir, I think you should take a look at this. Gentlemen, we have a problem here. Commander Keenan! This department has not received official notification that you've replaced Captain Baldwin as acting deputy chief of mission. Over. I'm not getting you, sir. Cable replacing Captain Baldwin as acting deputy chief of mission was never sent. Officially, he is in charge, not you. I am hereby ordering you to assist him. Any way you can. Could you put Captain Baldwin on the line? This is Captain Baldwin. What is your assessment of the merits of the &E? I cannot guarantee the safety of anyone in this facility. I would therefore agree that evacuation would be advisable. Captain Baldwin, you are authorized to proceed.
heard the staff talking. And? They say we're moving out. Is that so? Sam, if we stay, we're dead. If we go, we're ducks in the shooting gallery. Well, it's Baldwin's call now. Michelle, Baldwin is a good guy. But he's never been in a combat situation. But this is his turf. This is your life. Does it ever occur to you that you might be wrong? And this time. You know, it's okay to run when you've explored all the options. We'll talk about this later. I tried to warn you. We don't have time to build a horse or dig a tunnel. We don't have to. Someone already did. Talk to me. Now, here's a little something for you. What is it? Paranoid bastards. Built all kinds of shit under the city. Bomb shelters, command posts. More tunnels than the New York subway. <laughs> it's lucky for us. All stations. Harry is open, over. First one to all staff, initiate final burn. Just a sensitive. Bag it all, burn it, put the furnace. Stop it. Tiger one. Transport A. Tiger two ready. Out. Tunnel exit located and secure. Let's keep it moving. Hey, folks, about a quarter mile till we reach open air. Stay tight. Bob, let's go! Look, I'll give you the uh, details of the evac plan when we're on the bus and out of the city. So if you could just take your place in line, I'll stay. That would be contradicting a direct order from the Secretary of State. Favorov would want a point of contact inside the embassy. Let it go, Keenan. Face it, you just run up to the job. Level 2. The men are briefed for a tactical withdrawal now. First one, copy that. Suit yourself, tough guy. You'll be all right. <laughs> Let's two more coming through. Over. Hold the Together, right. By the time he's inside, we'll have a half hour head start. First, divert the main expeditionary units, then the waypoint that we chop out the civilians. Simple. You made the right decision. Yeah. Red one, two. Clarify status, Tiger One, over. This way. Keep moving, please. Hey, boys, going well again? You can kick your ass. Yeah. You get stuck in a hole again. I ain't gonna save you, sorry, yes. Follow me. Level 2, clarified status, Tiger 1, over. Tiger 1, hatch is open, over. Rebel 2, go, go, go. Stay low, stay low. Oh. All right, let's get up there and cover. Let's get him on the bus.
Rebel 2, clarify staff. Cycle 1, hold. Almost there, sir. This is Burst 1. President is on front number. Why don't you attack this embassy? What are you waiting for? Then sell the town. Yes, sir. Don't wait for me. the tunnel. Yes, sir. Fire in the hole! Killer's dead. The sent from Zad. We're cut off. They knew we were coming. They had to. Did we scan anybody? Everyone who passes the security post. Who was man?
sir. We believe the militia may have planned their own listening device on someone. They made sure it was someone who made it inside. Check my name, please. Is there any chance that someone in your office could apply one on you? Anything's possible. Do you mind? Please. So that's everyone. No, not everyone. Deactivated. It's one of ours. Tabarov has heard everything within 10 feet of you. We got ten motivated badasses gunning just itching to bring a world of pain to these motherfuckers. Copy that. Time to get down and dirty. King wants clean ones. You get a staff for past these around. I want metal. Keys, coins, knives, nails, and I want them back here for in five minutes. Yes, sir. You're looking for me? Sir, I feel I should be relieved of my command. Officially, I don't work here. Remember? You've got ten, Rob. I'm for it. You take it. As far as he and I can send you in charge here. Sam Keenan. Mr. Keenan, you can end this with no further loss. On either side. Release President Amir now. And your people will leave our country unharmed. The Marines and a shitload of tanks are heading your way. Over. When they get here, they will be dealing with the new government. Out. Baldwin. Are the civilians in the basement? Yes, sir. We looking. Bad news, sir. Our perimeter is full of holes. And the good news? Good news? We don't teach these mothers a whole new meaning of pain. Give them hell, Gunny. That's an order. Yes, sir. At the 4th of July, gentlemen, I suggest you make full use of the right to bear arms. Gotta love that Second Amendment. We shall go to the basement. I hope that Mike said he can't find a decent camera angle down there. Yeah, that and the lighting sucks. Intelligent, beautiful, stubborn. Nice mix. Sir, should we wait? No, attack. Red with one to red with two. We are positioning to attack. Get ready. Copy that. At Cone Baker, followed by your number, hold your fire. We arm into the open area, at which point I will give them their motherfucking bones. Then we all open up with everything we got. Over. 
Here we go! Mr. Keenan, your cavalry has arrived. You are lucky. Baker 6, Baker 6, there is a ceasefire. Militia is falling back. I repeat, militia is falling back. In other words. At least I can release you of this burden and return to the presidential palace. General Borgov is a personal contact. It would be a great honor, Mr. President, if I could take his report firsthand. Very well. Thank you. John, I sense a juicy photo of coming in. Red with one. Tell your girlfriend to get a camera fired up. Copy that. In the nick of time, General. Good to see you again. Thank you for coming, sir. This is Birch One. Militia forces have cut and run. Government square is secured. Please tell President Amarev. His people await his return. Out. Yes! yes. <laughs> but 
Oh shit! Redwood 3, return to compound! Yoni's in on this! Fall back! Fall back! Get down! Yes, sir. Yeah. Okay. Sir, Miss Whitman's not in the TCU.
this way, sir. Green, who's in charge here? He is, sir. Commander Keenan. Sit, sir, sit. Let's get these civilians out of here. Go for it, Colonel. Why don't you come with us? That's a no. You sure? Yes, sir. I'm not going anywhere. 